Forest Burn, The Exiled Flame, Ash Greninja, The Stealthy Torrent. The idea of elemental fighters going at it has existed since the dawn of man. Wind against earth, dark forces facing against the light, and the most popular, water versus fire. And just for you guys, I think I picked the perfect candidates. Both can specialize in stealth, both can create illusions, and both can create clones to downright disrespect the opponent. So the question remains, can this shady hyena beat down this ninja frog? Well, let's answer it then. So when I bring these facts up, I just want everyone to understand one thing. In the verse of Rivals of Aether, most of the combatants are relative to each other. Meaning that if one rival is stronger than the other, they can still do relatively the same feats in a vacuum. So please, remember this when I bring up different characters. Krag is able to create and destroy huge rock wall formations to help defend against foreign invaders. So because of this, the formations actually have to be reinforced in order to be stronger than what we usually would try to put a wall in our universe. Average sort of calculations for something like this would put the AP to building level to possibly building level plus, but there's still more to get through. Zetterburn, when he had to have a tirade against what happened to him in his story mode, actually sent the entire port to Watertown on fire. Now again, it's not really the whole town, only the port section, so calculations can vary for this sort of thing. But to be charitable, we can put it to at least a constant city block to potentially multi-city block ranges. Mind you, this still isn't even the higher tiers when it comes to the scaling. I'm just bringing this up just to show you that there's a gradual incline for these sorts of things. The big one is when you actually get to Absa being a combatant. See, Absa can not only create like little clouds and can enhance her own lightning, she can actually produce her own thunderstorms. In the words of the Aether Logs, she studied the world of Aether and developed a defense to protect the mountains from war. She mastered weather patterns and harnessed the power of lightning to create a permanent electrical storm at the base of the Arche Mountains, which is where she lives. This storm barricade has hidden the mountains so well that the Air Elders consider themselves impervious to the turmoil of the Aether Universe. Add on to this effect that Sylvanos himself can actually regenerate and control an entire forest at once. If you were trying to quantify these feats, you would get between the ranges of mountain level to large mountain level. These are really good in order to scale Force Burn, since the rivals of Aether crew should be relative to each other. In that case, conservatively, we can say that Force Burn is at least rocking in his slashes mountain levels of AP. Speed in the Rivals of Aether universe is a little dubious, because there's only really a few things you can look at. But thank god that Abs is here to give some inclining to people's speed. As I said before, she has the power to create lightning bolts and just toss it out to opponents. It's also stated that she amps this when she physically fights people. So I'd say it's incredibly safe to say that the whole crew are lightning timers, especially Forest Burn. As a reminder, lightning is actually 354 times the speed of sound, and this potentially is amplified when she fights people. This is also probably the part where I'm supposed to give you some evidence in order to imply that maybe they can even go to light speed, but it's dubious at best, man. I honestly can't find any piece of evidence in order to imply light speed for the verse, so we're just gonna have to say that they're lightning timers. But are these stats enough in order to contend with Ash Greninja? Well, unfortunately, I'm not able to provide Pokemon scaling because I'm not really good at it myself or really in tune to that. But I do have a cool guy that can help out with this part of the video. They call him Pokedex number 673, the Go Goat Scaler himself, Pokalore. Hey guys, Pokey here, also known as Pokalore. I just want to say thank you for Software to allowing me to collaborate with him. This has been a huge honor to make this video alongside him. 
And I just want to say thank you so much, software, because it's a huge honor. But anyways, let's get into Greninja Scaling. First and foremost, to understand Greninja Scaling, we need to dive deep into Zygarde Scaling. Zygarde 50% was able to fight relative to Ultra Necrozma, who was able to power an infinite 3D construct, making him um, high universal. So Ultra Necrozma was also able to power all of uh, Ultra Space with his light, and he travels with his light making him infinite speed as well as Zygarde 50% infinite speed. So for Charizard X, Alon's Charizard X, to fight relative to 50% Zygarde, who is actively damaging him as well as being relative in speed to him, this would make him low multiversal and infinite speed as well as Greninja, because Greninja was relative to him in the Pokemon League fight. Now, I know what you're saying. Wait, we literally just said high universal. Where's the low multiverse coming from? It comes from the Fates Collide scaling in the TCG Pokemon series. This statement said that Alakazam fused two universes together, which is a low multiverse level feat. And in the blurb, it also says that Zygarde defeated him, making Zygarde low multiversal. And since Greninja was relative to Charizard, Charizard who fought relative to Zygarde, via the concept of relativity, Greninja would also be low multiversal with infinite speed. So before you guys say, wait, the TCG series that isn't canon, those are card games. Yes, it is canon, despite what you might think. Everything in the Pokemon franchise is canon unless stated otherwise by the Pokemon company. The only exception to this is that the, most of the movies don't really follow the continuity of the anime, meaning most of the movies are just movie canon. And if you're planning to somehow debunk all of this, even though it's not even possible in the first place, be sure to use an actual good argument instead of just saying it's a ninja frog that hasn't even destroyed a mountain because that's called an appeal to reality. You have to note that Pokemon has completely different physics from our world, so destroying a mountain in Pokemon is like destroying a planet in here because the reverse is housing dimensions like the mirror dimension on their planet, making their planet millions times more durable than ours. It's not even close. So that's why you don't see Pokemon like Greninja and Charizard destroying universes when they're using their attacks because the planet is just that durable. So anyways, I want to pass it back to Software Neos, and if you have any disagreements, welcome to add me on Discord. Discord up on screen right here. Thank you, Software, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah, as you guys can see, this is a really big mismatch. Even if Forsburn's ability were better than Greninja, he doesn't really have the speed or destructive power to even scratch him. If the rivals of Aether Universe can't even go to light speed and don't even have planet level feats, unless they're fighting against Butterfreeze and Rhydons, they're quite literally getting folded like laundry. But to add on to this sort of thing, I'm only really one man. I bet if people bunkered down and actually helped in order to get more research, not even just Rivals of Aether, but just platform fighters in general, we could potentially find characters that are relative to the Pokemon's level. But as far as who wins, the Amphibian got it, man. But please, like, comment, and subscribe. And not just to me, also to Pokalore. He does Pokescaling, he does Nuzlocke, and even a few video essay type things, like when he talked about Gen 8. I literally couldn't have done this without him. And hopefully next time, we can actually talk about something that's a little more close. But in the meantime, I'll see you guys later.